All right, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do our circumference. Again, it's two simple little rules. Don't get overwhelmed with this. It's if they give us the diameter or if they give us the radius. That's all we're looking for. So we're going to use two different form formulas to find the circumference. Uh, remember, one is circumference equals pi times diameter or circumference equals two times the radius times pi. Okay? So, different types of problems. One is where they just give us a measurement. The diameter equals 29 meters. So, all we do, circumference, so they give us the diameter, we're going to use that formula. Then we just plug it in. Circumference equals 3.14 times 29. And when we do that, we get Circumference equals 91.06. And I think a lot of times they ask us to round the nearest tenth. So we got to look. The six is greater than five. So circumference, 91.1. Okay? Very straightforward. We're using calculators. And for our purposes, use 3.14. Since we're always using a calculator, don't use 22 sevenths right now. We might in the future. But for right now, we're, not, we're going to use this. So the next one, they give us the radius. So then we're just going to use circumference equals 2 times pi times r. Now remember, you can multiply them because of the commutative property. We can move them around any way you want. So they give us 13. So circumference equals 2 times 3.14 times 13. When you put all these together, it becomes circumference equals 81.64. And if we round to the nearest tenth, circumference equals 81.6. Okay? That's if they give us the diameter, give us the radius, just as a, a, a number by itself. The other ways they give it to us is, well, pretend they're circles. They're sort of round. Um, here... They're giving us the diameter straight across from one side to the other through the middle. So they're giving us the diameter. So we're going to use circumference equals pi times diameter. The diameter is 11 inches, so circumference equals 3.14 times 11. And when we do that, I did this already, where did I do it? Equals 34.54. And you round. 34.5, okay? All they're doing here is instead of giving us a number, they're just giving us a picture with the diameter. Here, they're just giving us a picture with the radius. So we're gonna do the same thing we did before. Circumference equals two times pi times radius. Circumference equals two times 3.14 times 4.5. And we have a calculator, so that comes out to circumference equals 28. Boy, my, mom, my mind's, see I'm not in class and my mind's going crazy here. 0.26. We round, since the 6 is greater than 5, 28.3. Okay? Same exact thing. The only difference, they gave us a number. And here they gave us a picture with the number in it. All right? The last one is just a word problem. A helicopter pad with a diameter of 15 yards. So they're giving us the diameter. So we're just going to use circumference equals pi times diameter. Circumference equals 3.14 times 15. I'm running out of room. So circumference equals... 47.1. Uh, you know what I didn't do on any of these? I didn't label them. Meters, millimeters, inches, meters, and yards. Okay? So when you do your problems, make sure. Go back, make sure. What did they give you? Did you use the right formula? And did you label them? So... 
you have some problems to do that are very, very similar to these problems for your assignment. I'm going to try to schedule um, a meeting for tomorrow. Uh, I'm still working out times with different teachers, so look for something by this time you've already noticed on Google Classroom. Have a good day. Bye.